Hello friends. Today I thought I would share one of the sampler blocks that I made while we were on vacation this year in our RV. I pre-cut all of my pieces with AccuQuilt beforehand and this is going to be a 10 inch block. I made it from the AccuQuilt 10 inch cube set but of course you can cut it with traditional methods as well. The small squares are five and a half inches unfinished as well as the half square triangle uh, blocks. Those are also going to be five inches finished. So I'll have a 10 inch block when I'm done. So I'm just doing some chain piecing here and uh, that's the most efficient way that I have found. I'm just quilting with my little small brother machine that I got at Walmart a few years ago. Works like a charm, $88. And uh, I just keep it in the RV so that when we travel, I can quilt in the downtime. We were up in the Ozarks in Branson, Missouri, and we did a few shows and activities. We went to the Sight and Sound Theater and saw the Queen Esther um, production, which was wonderful. If you ever get out there, would like to do that and a few other things. But our main goal was just to rest up a little bit and uh, take some time off for ourselves. So I did have some downtime in the evenings or in the mornings between activities. So that's when I like to do my stitching. I'm laying out my um, pieces on a design board. I learned how to make these from Lori Holt, but I make mine a little bit differently. She uses batting and then she hot glues fabric around the edges. Um, I use flannel and I use a spray uh, glue I think it's Elmer. Elmer's has a spray glue. It holds really well. And I put the flannel on that design board and then I use the uh, decorative duct tape to put around the edges. For some reason, I'm not that great with a hot glue gun. I get little bumps in mine. So I guess I don't work fast enough. Plus I tend to um, burn my fingers when I use hot glue. So this has been a great option for me. I have several different sizes of design boards that I make for the different size quilt, quilt blocks. So I've got all my little half square triangles made. And now I'll start putting those together. I know you're not seeing me so here, but you will in just a minute. <laughs> Forgot to turn my camera that direction. I wish I could really sew that fast. It just helps speed up the video a little bit so that uh, okay. Okay, there we go. I'm 
You can see I don't have an abundance of space to work to work on, but it worked out pretty well. I have a TV tray sitting next to my little dining table there. I can put things on. I'm trying to twirl those seams. I think it worked this time actually. And there we have two sampler blocks. And I didn't lose my points. See you next time.